everybody. This is Lisa Witherspoon from First Presbyterian Church in Greensboro, North Carolina with this week's story time. Today, I'm gonna to be reading one of my favorite books called Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre and Guy Parker Reeves. Let's get started. Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing, the rhinos rock and rolled, the lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly guy. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so bad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled round and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. So I really love this book for a couple reasons. For one, I love giraffes. They're my favorite animal. And of course this book is about a giraffe. So I like that. But this book also reminds me that sometimes we all feel like Gerald the giraffe. We feel like we're different or we don't fit in 
or we can't do something that everybody else is doing. And that reminds me of a couple Bible verses that have always been important to me. One is from Psalm 139 verses 14 through 13 and it says, For it was you, God, who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb, and I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And that means that God made each one of us. He made you just the way you are. He made me just the way I am. Whether that means you're a good dancer or not, maybe you're a good singer or a good athlete or a good artist, God made you just the way you are and you're perfect. Another verse I like is from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses four through six. And it says, now there are varieties of gifts, but the same spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. And to me, that means that whatever gifts you have, it's because they came from God and the Holy Spirit gave them to you. And that makes them special. Even if they're not the gifts you would choose, maybe you're not a good dancer, but you're really good at something else, that comes from God and he gave that to you. And we should be grateful for that, whatever it is. So I hope you find your own music to dance to or art if you want to draw, whatever is important to you, whatever you feel like you're good at, I hope you will explore those gifts. And for our activity today, I have something fun for you at the end of this video. There's gonna be two music videos from some old Bible school music that we used to love when it was around. And I want you to do just what the animals in the book did. And I want you to have a fabulous dance party at your house and you can dance however you want. You can follow along with the moves in the video or you can make up your own dance. It will be wonderful, whatever it is, because it will be you using the gifts that God has given you. So I hope you have fun with the dance party and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Come on, clap your hands. Here we go. That's it.
long tight and follow real close. God is good and he's in control. Clap your hands like this. Now do the twist. Stomp your feet the same. Same.